Louise Darling and today I'm going to show you how to make a llama cake. So I'm starting here with a six inch cake and just layering it together with some ganache and then doing a crumb coat of ganache before putting it in the freezer. Once my crumb coat is set I bring it out of the freezer, do another layer of ganache and then use my trusty pro froster to scrape around the cake to make sure that my sides are nice and even and straight. For the next stage I decided to ice the whole cake but this isn't necessary for this design. If you want to you can just ice a section of the cake and that will be where the face is and the rest you will cover in buttercream so it's not going to show at all where there's a seam between the icing and the ganache it's all going to be covered in buttercream and it's thick enough that it's not going to show any ridge there whatsoever so this part is up to you if you want to just do a small section then just brush some water onto the ganache and stick your fondant to it if you want to ice it all in one go then do what i'm doing brush water over your entire cake lay your fondant over lift all the pleats out really you only need one section that's really nice and smooth and neat where the face is the rest of it you can forget about it can be all creased and horrible and no one's ever going to know if you do want to make sure it's nice and smooth and crisp all over you can use some flexi smoothers polish and buff over your fondant and then run it around the edges just to sharpen those up for the llama's face i cut out two eyes using black flower paste and a circle cutter i marked an indent on the front of my cake to show where i wanted my eyes so when i stuck them on they were nice and even i used a little bit of water to stick the black circles of icing to the front of the face and then i cut out two smaller circles of white and stuck those onto the pieces of black as highlights in the eyes for the nose and mouth i use the edge of a circle cutter to indent into the front of my cake where I wanted the nose and then the mouth lines to come down. I then rolled a really thin sausage of black icing, cut some lengths out of it, brushed some water over my indented lines and then stuck the very thin sausages to that to create my nose and mouth effect. Now for the fun part, buttercream, I used my standard buttercream recipe which I will link to underneath this video and I coloured that using Colour Splash Latte. If you don't have that kind of brown colour, you could use any brown colour, just make sure it's light brown, but if you don't have it, just use a little bit of sifted cocoa powder and it will turn it a very light brown colour rather than a really dark chocolate colour. I then used a 1M nozzle and a disposable piping bag, filled that up and I started by lining around the facial features, so the sort of shape I wanted the fur to go into and for that I was just piping stars of buttercream. Once I had that outline and then moved on to piping rosettes of buttercream, so it's just a very quick swirl from the outside into the middle. And I worked my way around the entire cake doing this, I made sure he had a bit of a fringe section at the front and then just filled in everything around the sides of the cake up to the top edge of the cake. Once I'd filled all that in I moved on to the top and just piped stars of buttercream to fill in the top. I then went back over this to add in some height. And then lastly for my llama ears I rolled out some white flower paste. I cut out one ear shape and I just did this kind of like a leaf shape with the bottom taken away. So I started wider at the bottom and then came in narrower towards the top and then I took the, that ear shape, the one I was happy with, laid it over some more white flower paste and then cut around it so I had two exactly the same shape. I then used my beautiful sweet stick champagne gold and painted the same shape of my ear but just inside so I had a white outline and then gold inside the ear and then curved the ears upwards and pushed them into the buttercream so they could stay there until they dried and that is it that is how to make a llama cake I hope you love that video as much as I love making it if you did please give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button there are brand new videos every single Monday if you are baking or cake decorating yourself this week make sure you take photos upload them to Instagram and use hashtag yes darling and I will give you a shout out in my stories on Monday. If you would like your own hashtag yes darling t-shirt there is a link right underneath this video where you can get one. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.